Hello and welcome to O'Dwyer's luxury townhome floor plan, the Darby. The Darby is appointed with a decorative garage door as well as bricks surrounding the garage. And then there's the cement siding and lots of windows at the top. As we prepare to go inside, we see that there is a covered entry which is magnificent. And then there's more brick detail. As we step inside the foyer, you will begin to see that this beauty is nothing short of impressive. As we come into this foyer, there's EVP, which is the engineer vinyl plank. It's much more durable than your regular hardwoods. As we move forward, there's a huge coat closet or storage just off the foyer. And as we go further in to the right, to the left, you'll see that there is the optional mud bench, which allows your guest or whomever to leave their shoes or book bags, whatever it is right here at the entry. This door leads to the garage and then we have our powder room. So your guests can come right here and it's conveniently located. As we come back out, you'll see O'Dwyer's signature key niche charging station. This is a standard in all of O'Dwyer's homes. And there is an outlet with a USB port coming from a long day at work. Charge your phone, hang your keys. You will always know where they are. Okay, going back into a little bit of the foyer, we're gonna make our way into the main living area, which is the kitchen. The kitchen is so well designed that all the space was utilized and there's still an abundance of room. So you have the nice cabinets with the crown molding at the top, the granite countertops, and then the stainless steel appliances. And as we move to the corner of the kitchen, you'll see that there is a walk-in pantry with plenty of storage space. And we're gonna come back out. And this area here is where your refrigerator will be placed. And then there's more cabinets. So there is an abundance of cabinet space as well as countertop space in this kitchen. So this area can be used as like a little butler's pantry area, if you will, with the towel backsplash. And check out this island. This island offers so much more additional space if you're entertaining, if you're serving buffet style, or if you just wanna have a meal at the island, there is plenty of space for you to do that. And this is the standard size of this island. This kitchen is made for those who like to cook. Even if you don't, you will want to spend some time in this beautiful kitchen. So now we're going to pan around to the dining area. So in addition to the island, there's also the dining area, which offers even more space to entertain, to eat, or to just hang out. And then we'll go around to the family room. And there's even more space. It's so spacious that you can add as much furniture as you would like, and it will still be beautifully placed with plenty more room to move about. So as I go around, I'll give you a look at the family room from a different angle. So you'll have a different vantage point to take it all in. So if you want to be outside, when it's beautiful out, 
the patio also allows you ample space to relax, to entertain. As you see, we have just minimal furniture out on the patio, but you have room to put as much furniture out on the patio as you would like. So now we'll go back as we go back through the family room area. We're going to make our way up to the bedroom suite level. So as you go upstairs, you'll notice the wrought iron stairs going up. And another beautiful thing about the Darby is there's a landing. So if you need to take a rest, take a breath, you can do that right here as you make your way up the stairs. And as we get to the top, just around the stairs, there is a open loft area. This loft area can be used as an office or entertainment space, and it separates the primary bedroom from the secondary bedrooms. So we'll go behind me first, and we'll go into secondary bedroom number one. Again, plenty of space to decorate and just make it your own. We have a walk-in closet in here as well. And then as we go back out into the hall, we'll go next door to secondary bedroom number two. And again, there is an abundance of space. So you can add all the furnishings that you need and still have ample space to move around inside the bedroom. And this one also has the walk-in closet. So let's go back out into the loft area. The laundry room is conveniently located off of the loft area, just between secondary bedrooms one and two and the master. So then we have the shared bath for the secondary bedrooms. It's also beautifully appointed with a nice deep bathtub. And then it has your vanity. So we're gonna come back out. And now we'll go into the master bedroom, which is nothing short of spectacular. Just take it all in. The master bedroom has the trade ceiling with the king size bed. And you'll also notice the two nightstands and the dresser. And then take a look at the additional space that's left in this master bedroom. Just beautiful. So there is so much space in the master bedroom to just make it your own. You can add more furnishings as you can see, the space is there, or you can take away furnishings. And not to be outdone, let's go into the bath. And so we have double vanities here. And then right over here, you'll see that there is a vanity shelf. So if you want to charge your cell phone, listen to some nice soft jazz or whatever you fancy, you can do that. And we also added the outlet with the USB port for you to have your devices in the bathroom if need be. And then we have the towel shower. So there's towel in the master shower, master shower walls and then this oversized shower. And then the private water closet is totally separate. And then if we go back this way, this massive walk-in closet. There's so much space in this closet. There's room for everything. And so as we prepare to end our tour, I'll let you take another look at the master bedroom 
and to view more videos, for more information, to view photos, please visit our website, odwyerhomes.com. That's O-D-W-Y-E-R-H-O-M-E-S.com. Thank you for watching.